G'day scrappers, just doing a short and sweet scrap session here, might do a few of these in a coming week and um, also got some nice vintage PCs that I'm going to do a scrap session on as well. So whilst we're still in lockdown, might as well uh, do some short and sweet ones. Um, once again, this is medical equipment. I, I get medical stuff from time to time. I've got a few clients from uh, various hospitals and so on. Um, so uh, these are a little bit different. They're more like probably computers than anything sort of really oddball. So this thing here is the uh, medical control unit, um, Olympus. And... Um, Basically, it's just used to control different um, imaging systems, I think, in endos endos endoscopy. endoscopy. <laughs> and uh, these two down the bottom are actually image management hubs. So the Olympus IMH-10 and IMH-20. So they might be a little bit uh, different and interesting. I'll just start off with the off the top and um, yeah, we'll just check them out quickly and um, get up to date. <laughs> I think I've got most things undone here. Here we go. Yeah, so I'm just still catching up with uh, everything in the garage, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all going good. And uh, yeah, unbelievable. I can't actually believe um, how much I've gotten done. So okay, so this is basically uh, not that involved. It's just got a. Uh, Oh, it does. It's actually got a, a really tiny little motherboard here. Uh, that's cool. Uh, wouldn't mind checking out the CPU there. Now, a lot of lot of wire. So I'll show you the back. You'll see all the different ports, or um, VGA ports here, and uh, gosh, pretty much everything. Uh, you can imagine you got USB ports. Uh, I think these just Yeah, they're standalone little boxes, so they're just uh, more ports So uh, I'll Crack into them and see what the uh, board looks like Okay, this looks like another one here Uh, let me just go up a little bit. All right, yeah. So I've been, um, yeah, really going for it and um, surprising how many wheelie bins full of little bits and pieces that I've got. Like stacks of little modems and... So, very small, time-consuming things, and slowly getting through a bit of everything, uh, depopulating some more boards, sort of uh, slowly getting through, uh, gold recovery bits, um, sorting them out. Uh, so, I will definitely do an upgrade update of my garage, and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's getting there. I'm starting to actually be able to see things that I didn't even know were there. So this is just, just a mid-grade board. It basically has nothing apart, tiny little chips there. Um, so, you know, it's almost low-grade board, but we'll get away with this being mid-grade. Um, yeah. All right. I've got stacks of wire here. So I thought, well, since I uh, can't do anything really exciting like street scrapping or haven't had any, you know, real serious pickups, you know, enough to make it worthwhile doing a 
a pickup video or something like that because they're just being really you know real low quantities but you know if they're regular clients then I still go and do the job you know because sometimes they just want to get rid of a small batch of stuff um, you know and sometimes they they want to get rid of heaps so so this stuff obviously came from a kind of like a hospital like a research center um, and as usual a lot of this stuff is you know um, quite expensive to buy new you know um, obviously this is sort of out of date stuff it's no real good to anyone especially untested and, and stuff but uh, just like all technology medical technology you know um, gets superseded really quickly as well all right well got most of the wire out it's a little motherboard Well, it's not a, nothing's really spectacular on it. Got to take off that battery. Yeah, it's a nice little motherboard. Got a few tiny little um, gold band crystals in there, three of them there that I can see. But, oh yeah, there's a little RAM. <laughs> so what is it? Oh, it's a two gig. So that's all right, bonus little RAM certainly not something you would expect to be like a PC when you look at it uh, yeah probably the only thing is just have a look at the CPU oh yeah little heatsink oh yeah so it's just a little green fiber CPU come there you go that's what it's all about so because it doesn't have a heat sink on there it's classed as a green fiber CPU um, that's just a silicon chip there that's uh, no real gold or curry or anything like that um, so with these you got tiny little MLCC's here and um, but it's mostly about the uh, gold pins so that's all right they don't weigh much <laughs> so it takes quite a lot to get a kilo uh, there'd be a, a BGA under this but uh, might as well leave it on to get the weight for the motherboard and there you go so tiny little motherboard not bad and at least we've got one ram stick out of it power board There we go, just a uh, low grade power board. Uh, not really much there to take off. Maybe a little bit of wire if you wanna go to that extent. Just throw that in uh, low grade power board. All right. Uh, one more of these boxes so that's that that was uh, short and sweet enough uh, so you got your little these little things here they're, they're brass you know so if you want to take them 
um, rather than sending it to scrap steel take off as much as I can there you go not much but hey it adds up all right that's that one out the way that was good so just these three boxes MAJ 18 18 so I'll do the two two different ones Okay, Let's see what we've got in here. Alright, well, actually quite a nice little mid-grade board. Does have a, a nice BGA chip there. Um, probably don't, not sure if we really want to remove the BGA and uh, we might not downgrade it because it's a, such a small small board and still has there we go yeah yeah um, yeah it's the kind of thing once you remove this BGA it doesn't really leave much but it is a tiny little board but you know there's a tiny little BGA there that's probably better off removing without downgrading too much And this one, oh yeah, well it's uh, not as good as the last one because it's not a BGA, it's just a regular flat pack. So this one I would just leave as it is, straight into mid-grade. Yeah, when you you see a, a good BGA, like a gold corner BGA on, on a board, you know, and if it's just a mid-grade board, you know, it's tempting to take it off, but sometimes you actually risk, you know, bringing it down to a low grade. But how's these little things? They're like little uh, dip switches, but they've got a little screw in the middle where you can turn it around like a little clock. And if you can see the the legs are gold they've got gold legs so these little dip switches for me i, I would throw these i throw them into ic's um, because there's similar gold recovery method although some buyers that buy ic chips don't want these dip switches mixed in um, and i don't know why because the pretty much all the dip switches have gold plating whereas um, you know, 50% of IC chips don't. <laughs> so, okay, so these are the uh, image management hubs. So obviously they manage uh, various images. Uh, there's an LCD screen here. Um, uh, it's one of those funny LCD screens that can be quite popular. And then the one on the bottom has a, a, a true LCD screen where the image would come up on there as well. So... We'll do the uh, IMH-10. So yeah, apart from this little hub here, there might be a bit of a, a board there. Uh, power supply there. Oh. Oh well, we've got our scrapper chook on board. Say hello, yeah. Always trying to get its nose into the scene. Got uh, the other two just hanging around there. <laughs> so they're all around me. And this one wants to get right into it there. All right. 
I haven't taught you how to how to uh, scrap yet. You gotta. It'll take you uh, a year or so till you know what to do. Where we undo this? You're not interested. All right. You see, it crouches down, just sits there, and wants to sit there, you know. And uh, a lot of times, it's in my way. Now, this is. Some people ask, "Oh, is there gold in there or something?" No, there's gold on the tips, right? Gold on gold connection. That that's copper. And there's no uh, reason for it to be gold. Um, gold is only used as contact points, you know. Um, May, maybe very rarely at some stage they years ago but uh, not anymore all right so basically this is just a PC um, motherboard a card power supply uh, ports and we've got a hard drive and another hard drive so we're here we've got a um, uh, what are they, the uh, uh, SSD, um, so what size is it, yeah I can't, can't really see what size it is but it's yeah it's just a two and a half inch uh, SSD and then a regular mother uh, hard drive underneath, so that's pretty cool. And I doubt there would be any kind of uh, sensitive information on there, but either way, I'd just just have to reformat them, and away you go. All right, so there's a uh, Barracuda, um, 320 gig, so quite small, 320, and yeah, so I don't think this would be a very good one, uh, you know, very big one. Um, but yeah, unusually it doesn't have, it's obviously got part numbers, it doesn't have a, um, a size. So, and that looks like a, a little battery. Yeah, a little lithium battery. So there we go. So I'll get rid of these two. Oh, well, two hard drives. One that I'll probably keep. Uh, Yeah, and the rest is a, a, a floppy drive here. Oh, sorry, a, D, a DVD drive. I'm going real old school. All right, well, we'll get the... Uh, yeah, so basically just a PC. Quite interesting. I don't know why they would use something like this and not just a PC. <laughs> uh, no, there must be a reason. Um, Unless they say, oh, now let's just put, a, make a PC in a, into a special box. Oh, it does have the LCD display at, at the front, so, yeah, for sure there would be uh, a good enough reason why it's not just a PC. Alright, so this card is just a port card. Um, can get away with maybe, because it's, you know, it's doesn't have much junk it does have these ports as a mid-grade I'm just going to throw it in low grade as it is because as a mid-grade you still got to take off this steel plate and everything like that um, just to save a bit of time and this card here well this one looks uh, quite quite good but uh, it does have uh, quite a chunky little tiny little uh, gold band crystal but look how small the uh, fingers are <laughs> So it's, you know, and this already looks depopulated partially, but it just wasn't there in the first place. Um, but it does have a good BGA here and the small uh, memory ones. But I'm going to throw this straight into uh, slot cards uh, because, yeah, get much more value than trying to get any gold recovery out of it. All right. 
So, motherboard. There's a couple of little cards here, but they're not um, slot cards or anything. They're just, uh, and this is just low grade. There's nothing here. There's no real chips, and it's just junk. So low grade. Um, power supply okay it's an unusual power supply actually um, medical use so I might keep this aside but uh, I don't know why it would be a medical use power supply. Uh, doesn't look any different to any other power supply. Uh, it might be another one of those things that, oh, you, you know, if it's for medical, you've got to use a medical use power supply. And here's our motherboard. Take the heat sink off. Oh, yeah, that's cool. We've got a uh, copper heat sink. That's a bit of a bonus. Okay, just got to get a little screwdriver, unscrew. Uh, is it fully copper? Check it out. Bit of aluminium there. Ah. So this looks like it's just aluminium. We can uh, scratch through. Yep, it's just aluminium. So there's two things you can do here. It does have a nice copper slab. So you could either throw this into copper aluminium radiators, but this one, 95% of the weight is just copper. So the other thing you can do is uh, get these fins, pluck them off. And so there you've got aluminium and yeah we'll get to reasonably clean copper base and we could throw this into say um, tinned copper um, even though you know you could throw in a number one copper but you might not get away with it because there is a little bit of aluminium stuck onto it so it might be better off throwing it into like a, a burnt copper just to make sure and yeah standard motherboard Nothing really different there. What's that? A uh, it's only a one gig RAM stick, so just scrap and just a regular pinless CPU, old school. No value there either, apart from just the CPU. Having said that, um, pretty soon I've got to. I want to start processing my CPUs um, just halfway and remove these uh, tin copper plates heat sinks and then just keeping the pads um, yeah so uh, I'll see about that um, I just got to work out what to do with them if I can get a good price for them I might even sell them because um, I've just got too much of these low-grade CPUs all right well that was the IMH 10 So all that's left now, whoop, knocking over everything, okay, 
is the IMH20. So this one's a little bit different because it's got the LCD screen here. Um, so uh, a lot more uh, elaborate. Actually, it, it's even got a Blu-ray player instead of uh, just a regular DVD. All right, wow. Okay, well, it's pretty much identical in most ways. Yeah. Uh, same um, power supply unit. It does have twice the RAM and twice the cards. Um, yep. And it's same, pretty much the same deal. Just a... Uh, A little bit more. There's our Blu-ray. I might actually keep this Blu-ray. And, yep. That's the plug. So, you've got to have the plug. But yeah, I might as well keep it because it's a Blu-ray drive. Just for fun. And looks like the same deal, two hard drives. So obviously the the um, the SATA drive would be for the uh, the holding the the software, and the regular hard drive would be to for memory storage. So s s yeah, oh, this is slightly bigger, 500 gig, um, and uh, looks like. Pretty much the same, yeah. But uh, definitely keep these. These look quite nice, even though they probably won't be that big. Um, they might be a good quality one. Um, but I say I keep everything, and then end up saying, "Oh, what am I keeping this for and that for?" And, you know. Power supply unit. There is ports. Just undo everything and see what falls out got the cards here the well they're quite modern ports so still has VGA but yeah upgraded so all right well there's that card again same deal tiny little gold fingers the BGA's on the back sell that as slot Okay, that's a bit better fingers. It's actually a very light board. Doesn't have much of a bracket. For me, I'll probably take off these gold fingers, remove the bracket, because there's nothing there anyway, and just still get a uh, mid-grade board for it, rather than selling it as a slot card. I could get twice as much, but it doesn't weigh much, so I'd rather, because it's so long, so much gold finger on there, I'd rather the gold finger Got that low grade port thing. And once again, just low grade stuff here.
and yeah i'll just put these aside and just look them up and see they might actually you know who knows they might sell well because they're medical use they wouldn't be as common um on, on the secondary market someone might just happen to be looking for uh one to um replace so it could be uh, quite valuable and the good thing about selling e-waste like you know even though it's been a long time since I've sold on eBay but if you do get a lot of e-waste um, it's good to sell on eBay just to get buyers because you'll find especially if you got bulk and when you notice those people that are you know they'll buy five or ten at a time of something um, there's our copper heat sink again that's good then you'll know that they're they're repairers or something and and they'll probably keep buying off you so it's good to uh, like I did for the first year or two of business um, I was listing you know CPUs RAM and various things and but once I got enough buyers outside of eBay I kind of stopped eBay because I just don't have time so same old, old school CPU same motherboard pretty much uh, just a regular motherboard nothing spectacular and here's another thing you know when I, I keep uh, telling people that uh, bring me boards and stuff um, you know when you you're getting PCs that look like that you see this particular bracket it's very common the cooler master bracket there's nothing holding it in it's uh, like it's not screwed in and there's no reason for it to be there when you're selling it as a scrap motherboard you've got to take this part off okay it's really not acceptable um it's very common and uh, uh sometimes i'll get guys that will just happen to have a lot of these type of motherboards and if they don't take these off so as you can see it's just they're only just pushed into the holes they're not screwed in or anything so um can't sell this uh, you know with the motherboard and expect to get motherboard price so you've got to remove these um you know if there's one or two in the batch fine um but sometimes there's 20 or 30 of them you know it's you know and it adds up quite a lot and it really reduces um the refiners um return and then and what happens then is they reduce the price if they're not getting as much as they expect for from motherboards because there's so much extra steel um they're gonna pay less and so we all lose in the end you know all right so we did get quite a bit you know um well you know got uh yeah two regular size motherboards um the the tiny little motherboard a couple of interesting power supplies a couple of nice little ssd hard drives uh so yeah here's a bunch of uh, uh vintage pcs that i'm going to be scrapping out these are all the ones that i just put aside temporarily to get them out of the rain but uh yeah decided these are not the ones i'm going to keep the ones i'm keeping are still in there somewhere but yeah certainly getting down on everything here and uh, uh doing really really good uh um it, i know it doesn't look any different to probably the last video but believe me uh there's so many little bits and pieces that i've done here that have uh really uh made a difference even uh there's my silver mylar from keyboards uh barrel um so i've got mylar everywhere you know i need to throw some more in there but uh yeah just got to still work out what to do with these either apple monitors and uh power pc there and the commodore um, monitors there so i've got my uh, deep population station back in action they're all the things that i all the little tubs of stuff that i um pluck gold fingers yeah so uh yeah i'm really getting there is a this this batch um these are all uh, ceramic cpus uh a lot of these came from all the uh the vintage pcs that i scrapped out but uh yeah so uh uh as uh cluttered and 
ready as it uh, all looks in here. Uh, it's going to take um, only probably another week or so to really bring this down you know just finding a lot of hidden things so it's been really great so that's it guys i thought i'd just do a uh, short and sweet scrap i hope it's short enough uh it's probably still gone on too long but uh yeah uh, still doing some more of these uh, uh inverters uh, i've had a quite a stack around the back all right guys well keep scrapping have fun i'll catch you real soon with probably another short and sweet scrap or maybe some vintage pcs who knows catch you then